So let's take a look at Newton's second law of motion. So what his second law of motion says is that the F net, or the net force on an object, is equal to ma. So the object's mass times its acceleration. So the sum of all the forces acting on an object of a given mass is equal to its mass times acceleration. And we know that force and acceleration are both vectors, while mass is a scalar. So we know that since these are the only two vectors in our equation here, that the net force, the direction of the net force is always in the direction of acceleration, and that makes sense, right? So if we have a net force in a certain direction, that's the way that the object is going to be accelerating at. So the sum of all the net forces is equal to mass times acceleration. This is what the second law of motion says. And so let's take a look at an example, for example, Let's say we have a net force of 10 newtons, right? Our net force is 10 newtons. Um, and we have an object of a mass that is, uh, let's say, 2 kilograms. And we want to find out its acceleration, right? So if we're pulling on this object with the force of 10 newtons, and the object is 2 kilograms of mass, we just divide that to find our acceleration. So our acceleration on this object is going to be 10 newtons divided by 2 kilograms, which is going to give us 5 meters per second squared. So that's our acceleration of an object that is 2 kilograms with 10 newtons of force pulling on it. And so if we wanted to find, say, the net force, for example, same thing, we just plug in our equation. So let's say our mass once again is 2 kilograms and our acceleration this time is going to be uh, 3 meters per second squared. So the net force required to pull an object of 2 kilograms of mass uh, with an acceleration of 3 is going to be equal to 6 newtons of force. Right, or in SI units you could uh, break it down into kilograms uh, meters per second squared, and that equals uh, one newton. And just a quicker way to look at this equation, so let's say our mass doesn't change, right? We have the same object. We can kind of think of this as like um, if we want to accelerate the object twice as fast, then we need a force that is twice as great, right? So if, say, we have 5 newtons of force pulling on an object, uh, that will give us some acceleration on the same object. And if we pulled it with 10 newtons, so we double the amount of force, then we double our acceleration on the object. And of course, because these are the only two vectors, once again, the force and the acceleration on an object will be going in the same direction.